Hi everyone, this is part 3, Calculus 1 exam questions. In this part, I have 5 optimization problems. In other words, extreme value problems. When we talk about extreme value problems, we are looking for the largest value or the smallest value that a function can take. And we have some kind of constraints on the given question. Now let's look at the first example. Find the width and length of the largest rectangle that fits inside the graph of the parabola y equals x square and below the line y equals a. Here, a is an arbitrary constant and the top side of the rectangle is on the horizontal line y equals a. I sketch the figure of this problem. In general, it's not given in the question. You, if you wish, you should have a figure. So the red one is the rectangle the famous rectangle and this is the parabola y equals x square the line horizontal line y equals a is also here let's say this is the point x so if you have x then you have x square for y right so this is x this is also x since you have y equals a here this all distance is a since this distance is x square, this side of the rectangle will be a minus x square. So what is the area formula of this rectangle? The area formula is equal to 2x, one side of the rectangle, times the other side of the rectangle, a minus x square. What is the domain of this function? What is the interval of x? x must be a positive number and smaller than square root of a. This is the domain. So how do we find this domain? X must, be, x must be a positive number. Otherwise, it's not meaningful. We cannot have a rectangle if x is 0 or smaller than 0. Uh, and this side of the rectangle uh, also must be a positive number. This is why a minus x square must be greater than 0. And this is why you have x is smaller than square root of a. Okay, this is the domain of the function. How do we find the critical points? We take its first derivative. Derivative of this function is 2a minus 6x squared. It is very easy. And make it equal to 0. In this case, you have x squared is equal to a over 3. So what are the values of x? x is either minus square root of a over 3 or plus square root of a over 3. So which one is in the domain of x? As you see, this one is not in the given domain of a. And this is in the domain. This is why the only critical point is square root of a over 3. What is the question? Find the width and length of the rectangle, right? Find the width and length of the rectangle. We already find one side of the rectangle. This is 2x. Okay, let's say width is equal to a minus square root of a over 3 square. This is width. So if you calculate you have a minus 2a, a minus a over 3, and finally you have 2a over 3. This is the width of the rectangle, and the length of the rectangle is equal to 2x, which is 2 square root of a over 3. 2 square root of a over 3. This is done. The second question, which point on the circle x square plus y square equals 1? is closest to the point 3, 4. This is the point 3, 4. Okay. And let's say this is the closest point on the circle. We don't know what is this point and we want to find that point. Let's say this is the point x and square root of 1 minus x square. What is the distance formula? between these two points 3 4 and x square root of 1 minus x square do you remember the distance formula 
the distance formula is equal to square root of x minus 3 square x minus 3 square plus x minus 3 square plus 4 minus square root of 1 minus x square square and the close square root this is the distance formula between two points and the question is that for which value of x we have a minimum d I want to express the inside of this function by f let's say the inside is f of x let me rewrite f of x here x minus 3 square plus 4 minus square root of 1 minus x square now we have a new function I, I actually don't want to compute derivative of d it will be it will be very complicated since I have square root of function instead of taking derivative of a square root function I take derivative of inside and the value which makes the uh, minimum also makes f of x minimum this is the key point now we are ready to take derivative of f f prime is equal to by simple calculation you have minus 6 plus 8x over square root of 1 minus x square and I want to find the critical point make it equal to 0 in this case 8x is equal to 6 square root of 1 minus x square so in this case x is equal to plus minus 3 over 5 so uh, f x is either 3, 5, 3 over 5 or minus 3 over 5 is it possible to have minus 3 over 5 to have a minimum distance no it's not possible uh, you must have the first region you must stay on the first region of the x y axis otherwise you cannot have a smallest distance if you write x equals 3 over 5 in this equality you easily find the value of y so the closest point is 3 over 5 and finding the value of y you have 4 over 5 this is the closest point on the rectangle 3 over 5 4 over 5 this is done let's look at the third question in this question we have two posts one of them is 12 meters the other one is 28 meters high and stand 30 meters apart so the distance between these two posts is 30 meters okay let's call this distance as x so this is 30 minus x uh, and let's say this distance is y from here to here and from here to here let's say this is z let's continue to read the question they are to be stayed by two wires by y and z attached to the single stake this is the stake uh, and it is running from ground level to the top of each post as i showed in the figure what is the question where should the stake be placed to use the least amount of wire so we need to find the place of the stake uh, so i need to minimize y plus z the distance y plus z let's first use the pythagorean theorem x square plus 12 square is equal to y square for the other one we have 30 minus x square plus 28 square equals z square it's possible to write y and z in terms of x so y is equal to from the first equality square root of x square 
plus 144 z is equal to square root of x square minus 60 x plus this number this huge number so we write y and z in terms of x so let's say let's use another variable w for instance and this is the addition of y and z okay if you add them up you find if you add y and z up then you have this expression and the domain of x is from 0 to 30 why do i write these inequalities look at this 30 here so x is in between 0 and 30 now we are ready to differentiate w the w over the x is equal to the w over the x is equal to you simply differentiate this expression x over square root of x square plus 144 plus derivative of second term x minus 30 over square root of x square minus 60x plus this number okay this derivative of w let's make it equal to 0 to find the values of x so we have x in order to have this equality we have x the parentheses of x x square minus 60x plus this number is equal to the parentheses of 30 minus x square root of x square plus 144 and if you continue to do uh, the computations you have in the final step you have 320 times x minus 9 times 2x plus 45 is equal to 0 so by this x is equal to 9 or minus 22 and a half so we cannot have these values since it is not in the domain of the function okay it's not in the domain of w so the only critical point is the point 9 and w9 we have to compute the point 9 at w we find 50 okay uh, and we have to check other points which are endpoints this is approximately 35 53 sorry and other endpoint is 30 we have 60 here now we can conclude that uh, the wire should be state should be staked at the 9 meters from the 12 meters post since it is the minimum value for w x equals 9 is the correct answer for this problem so the distance the distance x here is 9 fourth question we need to enclose a field with a rectangular fence we have 500 meters of fencing material and a building is on one side of the field and so we will not need any fencing there the question is determine the dimensions of the field that will enclose the largest area this is the figure of this problem and the green size are the size of the fence and the red one is the building let's say this is x and this is y uh, and we want to maximize the area of this rectangle right x times y we want to maximize this and we have a constraint in this problem the constraint is the material fencing material uh, we have 
x here and y also here this is why we have 2y and the fencing material is 500 meters we now solve the second equation for x and substitute the result into the first equation to express a as a function of one variable i mean x plus x x plus 2y equals 500 implies x equals 500 minus 2y and this also implies uh, a is equal to instead of x times y now i have 500 minus 2y times y and this is equal to 500 y minus 2y square since area cannot be zero we skip these two values this implies y is equal to y is equal to 125 this is the final question a manufacturer needs to make a cylindrical can that will hold one and a half liters of liquid determine the dimensions of the can that will minimize the amount of material used in its construction this is the figure of cylindrical can here and let's say let's call this distance the radius as r and high as h high of the cylinder and the constraint we have a constraint here the constraint that is the restriction is the volume and we want to minimize the amount of material used and this means that we want to minimize the surface area of the can uh, so the equations for the volume and surface area are needed for the cylinder this is the equation of volume v is equal to pi r square h and this is the surface area 2 pi r h surface area volume and surface area formula and we want to minimize surface area of the cylindrical can so let me write down the surface surface area uh, we actually have this term also for the surface area plus pi r square since the area of this part is pi r square this is also pi r square we have 2 pi r square 2 pi r square okay uh, so the constraint the volume is 500 it is given in the question so 500 is equal to pi r square h using this relation we have h is equal to 1500 over pi r square let's write this form of h uh, in the surface area formula so the surface area formula becomes 2 pi r instead of h we have 1500 over pi r square plus 2 pi r square now we are ready to differentiate this function with respect to r if we differentiate we have a prime is equal to 4 pi r minus 300 over r square if we substitute we have 4 pi r cube minus 300 over r square let's find the critical points make it equal to zero so so since r is 6 2 h becomes 1500 over pi and the square of this number is equal to 12 dot so these are the dimensions of the cylindrical camp this is all